No, you're live. I've had to make different choices. And you're live. Thanks. Oh, we're already live? Yes. Yay! <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura with Three Tongue Talk by Laura. Welcome to Thursdays at 3 ish. Sorry we're a little heavy on the ish part today. Um, we'll you start. Can tell them it looks different. Yeah, we're in a different spot because we're doing a table. Did you like the backdrop? <laughs> Warehouse, shipping, peanuts. Um, and we'll start with the Thursdays at 3 winners, but I don't have those. Oh. Are they on the printer? No. No? She's Fabulous. Okay. Jill's got them. She's always got me covered. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Our first one. Oh, you even put names on them. You're so I smart. Did. So smart. Okay. First one is Karen. That's all I'm going to say is Karen because I'll get the rest of the names wrong. This is the before. Now, Karen won be for a couple reasons. Number one, because she did something absolutely phenomenal. That's before. Now look at after. Dum -da -da -dum. I know. Isn't that awesome? So number one, she did something phenomenal. And number two, she did it with her husband. So I think, <laughs> I know, right? So she totally won $35 credit. Put in the note section next time you place an order that you won the Thursday at three and we'll refund that $35. So yay, for Karen. This next one, phenomenal. This is Angela Murphy. Now when you sell that uh, home, Karen you what? can make enough money for the divorce. Oh, hey Karen, you just won. You just won the $35 credit for the Thursday cre customer creations because the before to after was absolutely phenomenal. People should be amazed. And then the other thing we're all amazed at is that you did it with your husband. So that won you the $35 right there. Soon to be Thanks, Karen. No, they work together great. And Angela Murphy. Like us. There's our before. She said thank you. Yay! Thank you for posting the pictures. They're awesome. Um, Angela Murphy, before. Ready? Da, 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 da. After. Ooh. I know. Phenomenal glaze job. Phenomenal. Love, love, love. Love how it's in the little creases and stuff. And really, really pretty. Good, good job. It looks like piece of furniture, dude. No, it doesn't look like the same wow. piece of furniture, does it? It's awesome. So you've got a $35 credit. Let us know when you place your next order that you got a $35 credit and we will refund the $35. So, all right. Um, because people have said, show us what you're doing for Katie's wedding, I have a couple little things and then we have a big thing. All of this today is for Katie's wedding. So the first thing is her colors, I mean her flowers are her dredges. So we did a tray. This is one of those things and I know most of you have already seen this, but we're just gonna flip through it really fast for the people who haven't. Napkins, and we gunked them on here using the da, 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 Rethon Gunk. It's our decoupage product. Are you saying hi there, Brett? <clears throat> Are you saying hi? Yeah, there's a lot of There's a million highs. A million highs? That would be lovely if there were. From Amy, Melanie, Maureen, Amy, Michelle, Melanie, Maureen, Michelle, Dee Dee, Dee Dee, Karen, Lori, Karen, Katie, Lori, Katie, Diane, Diane, Karen, Karen, another Karen, uh -huh. Nancy Bradley, Nancy, another another Karen. Woohoo! Oh, that's the same Karen. Never mind. Uh, D. This is awesome! Nancy Yay! Bradley's sister. Nancy Bradley's Nancy sister. Bradley. Okay. Yay! A lot. Now they're scrolling so fast. I'm okay. Known as, so I'm known as Laura's husband, so I get that Nancy Bradley sister. <laughs> there you go. So when you're doing this, I don't cut them to. to I mean, they're just the square napkin stuck on there because you can distress the edges right off. <laughs> Isn't Katie sneeze dumb sounding? <laughs> we ran out of that one. By the way, so. All right. I got a little good on the edges. I'm going to have to go back and trim that up later. But for now, we'll just show you that the napkins make a phenomenal tray. And <laughs> Katie, that is not a real sneeze. <laughs> I am showing you, most people have already seen me do this. I'm just showing you because it's one of the things we're doing for Katie's wedding. Napkins, her co I mean, her flowers are her dranges. So we've got one of these puppies at Home Depot for what? $4.98, $5.98? Something like that. There's the, that's or the trash. Or Lowe's, I'm sorry. Huh. Don't mean to favor Home Depot, but I do. And... <laughs> There we go. 
use the gunk to apply the napkins. It's fabulous now. And then later we will add handles. But and it will be a fabulous you, you serving tray. Them, you don't have to cut them to shape. You right. Just... I didn't make, I didn't cut them. I just sanded the edges when I was done. And now I'll show you real fast how we use the gunk. Because I got these chalkboard labels and I thought, ooh, for all the people that are important, we want to save a seat up front so they can see Katie. And I'll just get these chalkboard labels and write everybody's names. <laughs> no, my handwriting's nasty. So I printed the names, ripped them. So that, don't even go there, Tom. <laughs> so that they are. I ripped some. So, but, oh, I didn't see the label. You're funny. Okay, so you put the gunk on first. It's the same thing we did with the napkins. Put your napkin on, or in this piece, in this case, just your little piece of copy paper, and then put the gunk on top of Megan, it. And that's your spot. Everybody's got one that's immediate family or grandparents. Okay, and then when it dries, you've got a fabulous little tag. And you can, it's amazing what you can gunk. So, there's these. Tom, will you move all of that stuff out of the way so we can get to working on this table? Those are our two little gunk projects for the wedding this week. And, <laughs> Is that I, I didn't mean to do that. You told him to do that. No, I did not. You told him to do that. just slipped in an upward motion. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Trying to, trying to go. This is a ton of what? Yeah. Oh yay! Me. I don't remember where I stopped. So this is the table we're going to transform this week. Da da da! We already painted the legs cotton, but look at the top of this puppy. Katie needs a table that has the cake on it that we don't have a ton of room because she's getting married at the house and we have a couple screen porches that we're going to do things on but she wanted a narrow table this is nice and narrow and this was in our trash pile so i pulled it out because we're gonna make it fabulous for katie what is with all the peanuts what is what <laughs> we this wouldn't fit in the room that we usually do the thursdays at three in so we're out in the main part of the warehouse and this is all the peanuts i mean there's actually more down there yeah. and more in another room but yeah for shipping yes the peanuts Oh, it's new to our thing. You should explain it. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, we're Wreath on Junk Paint Line. No sanding, no priming, no waxing. We're showing you what you can do with it, how fabulous it is. And we're out in the main part of our warehouse. We have a Thursday at 3-ish, every Thursday, show you some kind of project. And this time we came out here. The peanuts are a lovely backdrop for the project we're going to do today. So, what's our other question? No, that's great. You can, you would probably want to skip the step of painting them. You would probably just print them in the color you want and then you can gunk them on. Just print them the color you want and gunk them on. Or you can use a stencil with our paints and that could be easier too. But sometimes you want a, cur a, a cursive or a script or a, so you can totally do it. I just would print them the color that you want them and then gunk them on the letters. So any other questions, just interrupt me. Here's what we're doing today. First step was we're going to cover the top of the table with this stuff. What is this stuff, Tom? Beadboard. Beadboard. Okay? And so, <laughs> first thing, Katie. Katie. First thing we did is we covered it with, I think I used two coats, but we used two coats of the dark walnut stain top. You can use Raven Black. Is that the question? Is the gunk just the Mod Podge? No, gunk is not Mod Podge. Gunk is better <laughs> than Mod Podge. Gunk is our decoupage medium, if that's what you're asking. Just kidding. It's, it's similar to Mod Podge. So, so much better. So much better. Okay? So there's what we did on our big piece that we're getting ready to put on the table. We did this first so that it soaks into the wood, it stays there, and then when I distress it, there's a pretty color underneath. If you don't do this, you won't have a pretty dark color underneath when you distress the tabletop. Because she paints over it. Right, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna show them that in just a second. You're getting ahead of me. These were our sides, and we also put a coat on these. And this is fabulous when you see what it does because there's some wood grain going on in there. So that's our first step. We just dark walnutted everything. Is the stain your product or from Lowe's? It is our product. Who's asking this? Kim Paulian. So that must be somebody else new. We don't use products from Lowe's. We go and get nails and tools, but we don't use products. This is our, and who handed me one without a label? That's great advertising. I didn't. It's dark walnut stain top. We have three colors, dark walnut, raven black, and weathered gray, and they're all our product, and they're fabulous to use. If you're not using them on raw wood, they're wonderful because you don't have to sand in order to stain something. You can just stain it as is. You don't want to sand. It, it's wonderful And they're water-based, so it's already dry. Yeah, it it's is. fabulous. <laughs> okay, so what we did was we measured our top. 
Okay. Ready? They're trying to get you one with the label on it. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, so we measured our top, cut it out, and over the same top, we put a coat of cotton, because Katie wants whites. Look, there's our stain top. What color? Oh, it's even the dark walnut that we used. <laughs> but we also have the weathered gray and the raven black, and they're actually really pretty to layer, too. And now it needs to go back in the customer. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is our piece that goes on the top. Tom's going to help me line it up. Is that line it up down there? How's it doing on the front? Ooh, yeah, somebody cut good here. Okay, what we're gonna do, if you were doing this Sorry. for a dining table, because you can do it on anything, you can, I saw something where somebody had done it on an oval table, and they just made it square, they just came out on the edges and made it square, and you would wanna put wood glue under here. We're using it for Katie's wedding. I don't really care about, you know, just kidding. So we're going to, I should probably put wood glue under there, but we're going to nail this puppy on. Okay. That's exactly right. Don't even see them. I'm going into the grooves. Okay, how are we lined up down here? Good? Oh, now you see it. Wait, it's off. It's not off. <laughs> okay. This is so phenomenal. Wait, you see how we finish it? It's so great. Okay, now, before, we do one more row. Katie, okay, do you love it? Yes, I do. Good. Is that good enough, probably, Tom? Oh, yep, because that one jammed. So that means you stop. <laughs> okay, so, we'll nail the second, the sides on in a minute. Next thing you do is distress it because I want to stress it before I get the edges on. So, just go in the grooves. This is why this stain top was important because now instead of the raw wood color coming through like that, we get the dark color coming through. And all I did was just go in the edges. Ready, Katie? <laughs> right here I can't go backwards but I'm gonna fix that I'll show you or maybe I won't just so it's it. Board. It is the raw wood bead board stuff. We stained it and then we painted it with cotton. Okay, this is gonna be pretty. I know, I'm excited. Okay. Actually, we'll nail them all on in a minute. Let me see, stress these. Okay. So the boards for the side are a one by six. And we did the same thing with those. We painted them with the stain. We stained them with the stain. And then we painted them with the cotton. Watch, when you distress this, it looks like barn wood. Keep the sander flat. Don't do the angle. Go over the whole thing. Oh, look. There better be some hearts. Look at that. It looks like old wood. Okay, the other hearts. Woo. 
Isn't that fabulous? And what kind of sander is that, Mother? This is a Ryobi sander. You don't have to have a cordless one, although I absolutely love it. If you get the non-cordless one, it has a little dust bag right here, and it's like 29 bucks at Home Depot. <laughs> Probably those two, <laughs> but Home Depot. Um, I like the cordless one, because I can move around, do what I need to do. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time, so you can all have hearts again. Look at the difference before we sand it and after. Makes a huge difference. And again, if you hadn't stained, this wouldn't be coming through with the darker color. So that's why we put the stain top on first. nailing it on. We're gonna do the ends first, right? Look how that looks like wormwood. This is a one by six. You can do it with a one by three. You can do it with, you know, if you want something. Uh, the other thing is, if you are, the other thing you can do is you can plank the whole top of it. I chose this just because for me it was easier. You don't have to use the bead board. You can use planks. <coughs> you will want to do something like planks if you're covering a table like the oval one where they came out from it. I have an apron to staple these two, I mean to nail these two. If you don't have that apron to nail these two, this is awfully thin to hold the apron on. So you might want to think about using the planks. So you know, you could take these. What you would these, have is it would sit like this. And you could do that yeah. across the top. And then when you put that's the, the side on. This just happened to be laying around here again in the trash pile. So it was inexpensive. And then it would be like this and you would nail those together. Yeah. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So we want the sides first, right? One side. What strength sandpaper do you use? 80 grit. I'm an 80 grit girl. Okay, let's start down here. And Tasha said you're brave for working barefoot in a warehouse with power tools. No. Brave or dumb? Yeah. Probably dumb is what most people would be saying. So We're hoping the insurance company isn't watching. Okay, ready? Does it I make sure it's right? even cross there? Is it even? Well, you're, you're down there looking at it. There you go. Oh. Is your battery dying? Nope. All right, next. You other want the end? Side or the end? The end. Where is the other end? Oh. Who took the other end? We did them both, Katie. Where'd it go? I we can't, know, I can't not have the other the end. Lights. Well, we'll have the other end. Oh, it's over there on the shelf. Oh. oh. Let me get it. I'll just focus on the wood. How much other money? End. How much money to accidentally hit your mom upside the head with this? <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. All right, wait. Okay. You're supposed to be saying witty stuff bar. Other end. I'm working on the table. All right. Would you like to use the power tool? No, you can just hold it. I'll use the power tool. I was going to say. Yeah. Is that scary close? Ow! That was funny. All right, let's get the front on. Isn't this turning all cute? All right, I'm excited, even if none of y'all are. Jill, I'm excited. We may need you down there. Sorry. Okay, oh. Wait, too short. No, it's not. Push it back too far. Oh. oh, okay, now it's perfect, right? Yeah, it All right. measured perfectly. Oh, wait, hold on. Stop leaving it. Oh, I'm sorry. going down a little bit right here. Oh, you're pushing it. No, oh, because somebody got a worked board. It's okay, we'll just make it oh. happen. <laughs> it's just for Katie. Ooh. It's just for Katie. How many times have we said that? I don't think anyone at the wedding is going to be looking that closely. Oh, I'm going to I bring will. it to everyone's attention. <laughs> oh my stars, this is going to be cute. Out of things from the trash pile. That's going to take a little caulk right there, right? Hmm. Somebody, mm -hmm. somebody missed cut. No, you know. just got a warped board. Okay, let's put the back on. Because oh, then you'll see the 
the whole thing. All right, deal. Sorry. Did you scrape up my piece? No, it's not scrape. It's stain top that dripped because that wasn't oh. totally dry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're almost done. Do you remember the table before? Who remembers the table before? I do. I had to look at it for three days. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, I got her. She nails me to the right. Yeah, this was a warped one too. Wait, there's a well, yeah. It's we a went through every. We went through board. a million. These were the least warped there were. Right, oh, we can't do that. We're gonna no, have to go, go up our, a little. I'll do it. No, go. you can't. You can't unwarp a board. Yes, I can. Come up. Make sure the middle's straight. He's Superman. He make can sure the do middle's it. even. What do you mean? <laughs> you make sure your middle's even. He wants this to be to be down. Make sure it's flat. To be flat. You can't bring that up. Yes, I can. Okay. Why do you doubt me? And if you can't, then you can say All right, I told right you here. Because it's wood. Well. He's doing it, though. I have a little experience. Ooh. He's <laughs> Superman. I'm going to put one more in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that look even? Yeah, Tommy, you did a good thing there. You did a real good thing. Look at our table. It took less than $40. We totally transformed it. You can do it to an oval table, you can do a square table, you can do a rectangle table. I don't think there is a triangle table, but you can do it to any shape oh, table you want. Oh, there's triangle tables out there. There is not, there's triangle chairs. My grandmother had triangle chairs. Three she legs. Every time I went to her house and sat on them, I fell over what? Those coffee tables that have the glass. Yeah. When the glass breaks, yes. McDonald's this would be great has, for the coffee McDonald's tables. Has diagonal tables now. They Will you seal it when you're going to go into McDonald's? Yes, we're going to put a tough top on it. Yes, we are. I'm going to get all the dust off it from sanding because right now it's really, really dusty. Once I get it totally dusted and nail that little nail in that didn't go all the way in, we're going to put a couple coats of tough top on. Yes. <laughs> and for those of you who have the question coming up next, who if your tough top yellows? If for some reason there's a weird wood, which it shouldn't do it on this, if your tough top has any kind of yellow color to it when you put it on, all you have to do is add a little tablespoon or two of paint to the tough top. So it's colorized and then put a last coat on and you're fine. Amy Roberry said you have the best vision for these things. Yay! I, Which is why I'm really glad she's planning my wedding. Cause I, don't. I know. I keep asking Katie, is this okay? And she's like, I can't see the end of that. I can't see how that's going to look. She was a little frightened when I pulled this table out and I said, I had the perfect table, Katie. And she's like, right. But isn't it, step back, Katie, isn't it so cute? Yes, it looks look, fabulous. how fabulous. Imagine it with your cupcake stuff and... All the other beautiful things I'm going to put on it, it's going to be fabulous. you got a lot of fabulouses and adorables. It is pretty awesome. I want to see one of you guys do it. Do you so. have a matte sealer? Yes, we do. It's called Flat Top. And we recommend that you not use it over, I always get mixed up. Really dark colors. Really dark colors. So you would not want to use it over the stain top, but you could use it over this, which is probably what you want me to use, Katie, is the flat top, right? Yeah. So it looks right. So we'll put flat top over this. Um, <clears throat> any other questions? Because we did a couple gunk things and we've done our table and it's fabulous and I'm so excited. I think I'm happier than anybody watching. I love how this turned out. I know happy. it makes me happy. I like it. It looks great. Just came from the trash, and all we did was pay for the boards. But even if you paid for all of the boards, it still was under 40, we said. Yeah. All, it just cost us 20 because we just paid for those. So thank you so much for joining us. Make something using this process. Do a coffee table. Do it what? Oh, wait. I do have oh, yeah. a question. Oh, ask me. Um, my retailer was out of the stain top sponges. What can I use instead? Trying to work on my stuff while my grandson is sleeping. They give them to me. You can. Um, any home improvement store will have any them. Any home improvement store will have them. They'll probably be a little bit more expensive, but any home improvement store will have them. Um, we're having a hard time coming up with a source. We've contacted several people, um, so we haven't sold them lately. So they're probably out just because of us, not because they're a bad retailer. Um, so just, and if you don't mind rustic, I just use a brush now. So in fact, Katie. Don't show the junk in the warehouse, but let me show you the top of this dresser because it's really How pretty. Do I not... Oh, that's gonna be hard. What dresser? This one right here. Do you want? Just cover the camera. <laughs> do you need me to bring it? With my so no, painty hands. Turn the dresser over. Okay, so. Oh, this is fine. This is just the ground. This one is. It looked like this when we started. This is two coats of the um, weather gray, and that's brushed on. Look how pretty the weather gray is on there. Isn't that pretty? That's driftwood paint and the weathered gray. You can still see a little bit of the wood grain through there, but it's such a pretty, pretty color. So. It's on the dresser behind you. Oh, the dresser behind you is awesome. It's the dresser behind me. Isn't that one pretty? Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That one's awesome. I have another piece that matches it, but it's buried in a pile. So. All right, so come over here and we'll say goodbye real quick. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Um, 
We are always looking for retailers, so if there's not a retailer near you, you should be one. Contact us, we can give you any information you need about becoming a retailer. Um, and you can find a retailer near you by looking on our website. There's a little spot up in the left-hand corner that says retailer near you. Check, because <coughs> it's always good to go. See the paint colors, feel the finish, that kind of thing. It's always wonderful. But if there's not one near you, we do sell online. Um, keep, keep tuning in on Thursday at 3, and we're going to do some more fun stuff for Katie's wedding. Is there something in my hair? Probably sawdust. Yeah, sawdust. Yeah, because you've been sawing. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly, truly appreciate it. Um, oh, one more announcement, because you told Jill yes. What? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Limited edition color. We did? Yeah. Oh. Limited edition yeah. color. For those of you who asked, we're coming back with Patriot. Now, we've had Patriot for like six years and no one really ordered it. And then we discontinued it and now everyone wants it. So we're going to do Patriot for a limited edition color. We'll let you know when we're going to put it back on the website, probably in the next week or so. But you better order it. Because I begged and begged. Don't make me look silly. So we're expecting tons of orders for Patriot coming up soon. There should be hearts from all of you who have said, I'm Patriot, I'm Patriot, I'm Patriot. So we're coming back out with mm -hmm. that one. Just wanted to let you know. Um, thank you, thank you for joining us. We truly appreciate it. Happy rethunking. <laughs>